Hey everyone, this is Grace of GB Maltese, and I've had several people ask me how to post pictures and use hashtags on Instagram because Mindy and I are running an event called Hashtag DP April Showers. So I thought, let me show you. I told people I would do this. If you have not downloaded Instagram on your phone, it's very easy. Just go to your app store and download it. It's very easy to use. Okay, and this is what it looks like. And this shows I have a message. So I'm just going to open it. When it opens, it's going to show me things that people have posted. For me to go to my page, there's a picture of me in that circle. And I'm going to touch it. Now, if you just post a picture of something else, you, you're going to post something. This is my profile page. So when people say, check my profile page, that's what they're talking about. When you click on their name, it'll come up. Now, how do I... These are things that I've posted in the past. Um, oops. So, how do I post something new? Up here, there is a plus sign. Now, this is an Android phone. I don't know if it's different on um, a iPhone or not. But I'm going to press this plus sign. When, that, when I press the plus sign, it's going to give me options. Feed posts is where I'm, what I would press to post a picture. If I want to do a story, which is a short video. Um, IGD... IGTV videos, reels, guides. You can click on those and play around with it if you want. But right now, we're just going to post a picture. So I'm going to click on Feed Post. And this is going to come up. And I'm going to have a gallery. It's going to bring up my gallery of pictures. And I have some different things. Okay, here is a picture of cover minders from Saban. And I think I want to post this. So what I'm going to do is I have picked this picture, okay? I went through and you can see it has now got a, it's not bright like that one. If I click on that one, that comes up. So I'm going to click on this and then there's an arrow right here. This arrow takes me to the next page. I click on that. Now, if I don't think my picture looks good enough, this is where you can choose to do different effects. I don't ever use that. These are filters, but if I wanted to, I could click on that and see it changes the way the color looks. But I want to go back to normal. I just want to keep it normal. So I like the way it looks. If I want to edit it, I click on edit and I can adjust brightness. I normally don't do these things unless the picture would be really bad so I'm just leaving it the way it is and there's the arrow that arrow takes you to the next page and it's processing it okay you'll see a check mark now is where I can type my caption so I'm gonna write a caption and I'm just gonna put these are gorgeous cover minders from um, you can't link the Etsy shop page but I'm going to put from covers cover minders anything you want to type in here you, you, this is where you're going to do it cover minders sub on on Etsy Now, this is where people are wondering, okay, how am I going to do my hashtags? How do I... Now, I want Saban to know that I've done this. So what I will do is I'm going to click where these symbols are, and I'm going to use the ampersand to show that I want her to see this. So I'm going to put... Um, i got to type in her name. Saban... Okay, and her name came up, so I'm going to click that, and it will fill it in for me. So it has at Saban underscore Jean 
54. Then I want to put some more things. I want to um, to go to the I want to let people see this in the diamond painting community. So I would push a hashtag. Okay? I got a hashtag and I'm gonna put diamond painting. And any, and as you can see on diamond painting, um, there are a bunch of things there. And I'm going to go ahead and do a space. Then I'm going to put uh, hashtag cover minders. And it will show up in any place on, oops, I, if I spelled it right, it would help, huh? I, I still can't spell. Let me turn this so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, cover minders. Okay, and you can see there are public posts for that. I'm going to click the space bar again. And I'm going to put this in um, DP April Showers. Because that's where a lot of you are wanting to put your... All you have to do is click hashtag. Okay? Click the hashtag, then you're going to put D P April Showers. Okay, now I'm going to put a space there, and I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm happy with what I've done. This is the way it's going to look when I click that check. That check is what I'm going to click when I do that. Now, to tag people, this is going to tag people in the picture. Okay, for example, if I want to tag Savon, I would click right here. I would just touch a place on here. So if you're trying to tell who people are in the picture, you would you would just touch it. And I, I could put dragonfly. But I'm, I don't want to do that. I'm going to go back because I've already tagged Saban up here. So I'm going to click the check mark. Now, it's going to come up. Okay, I, I went back, I touched my house. When you touch the house, it takes you back to your page where it shows everything. Now, look, it showed up on this, and everybody can see it, that's my friend. And also, when I click I can touch April showers and everybody that has posted in April showers has their things in here. Um, they do not, for some reason, they're not going in. See, my picture showed up down here, but it's in there. And I go through every day and I look to see who has posted something. Um, okay. So, let me do that one more time. Okay, I'm on this page. I need to find my picture. I'm going to touch my picture. I want to add something. So, when you add, you push plus. Yes, I want to add. I want to add a feed post. That's just a picture. And this time, I'm going to post my beautiful baggie tray from Bella Art de Nicole. So, I'm going to click the arrow because that takes me to the next page. That's the picture I want. Click the arrow. I'm not going to fool with filters, nothing. I'm going to click the arrow. Now to tag people, I'm going to click this and I'm going to touch this right here. And I'm going to put at Hold on a second. Okay, let me tap the photo, then I want to put in here at Bella, whoops, 
I didn't spell it right. Okay, and it came up because she's a friend of mine, so I'm going to click on that. Now look, her name will come up there. There'll be a little picture, so if anyone touches that picture, they'll know that that is, a pic that is for um, Nicole. All right? Now, I'm going to close that. I want to put my caption, and I'm going to put... I'm going to turn this where I can see what I'm doing. Maybe you can kind of see. My beautiful... baggy holder from and I'm going to put at because that way people can touch it and find her and it came up Bella Art De Nicole um, so I'm going to click on that and then I'm also going to do a hashtag hashtags Bella Art De Nicole when you put the at sign, that's going to take you to her site. Hashtags are going to put your picture where you want it to be found. I want mine to be seen in diamond painting groups. So I'm going to put hashtag. And I'm going to put diamond painting. Okay, I like that. And then I'm going to put hashtag diamond painting tools. Because it's a tool that you can use in diamond painting. Make sure you spell it correctly. I'm going to put diamond painting tools. And I might put uh, hashtag... A fun hobby whatever you want to put okay I'm just gonna leave it at diamond painting and diamond painting tools I'm done I've done what I want to do so I'll click the check mark and I'm gonna click my house the little house is in the, down here in the left corner and it's gonna take me back to my page where I can see things and as you can see this came up now if I click on Bella Art de Nicole um, it's going to take me to her page. And there it is. That's why you do the ampersand and then the person. If you put the hashtag and I touch that, I put diamond painting and it's going to take a while and it's going to show all sorts of things that have to do with diamond painting on here. So, my picture's in here somewhere. Oh, I'm going to put click recent. Okay, here's mine right here because I clicked the recent. So, if you want to see the top, which ones are, I guess, had the most views or whatever. But if you want to see the most recent ones, click recent and you can see that. Okay, and this one for DP April showers, I click on that. I want to see the most recent ones click on that and here they are and click and I can go down and I can see all the beautiful pictures people have put so that is how you do Instagram to post a picture very easy if you have any questions just ask below if you need me to do this again I can do it um, as you can see up here are where people put their stories and that's when you click your Click your little thing, click I want to add something, and then if you want to add to your story, you can do short little clips, you can do videos, reels, and you can play with it and find out more about it. I hope that kind of answered your questions. Um, let me know if you have any more. I appreciate you watching, and I hope this helped you. Take care, guys. Love you. Bye.